Well, it is official. We are living longer, but according to the World Health Organization, the average period of disability before death is eight years. So what can we do to help maintain our quality of life as we age? To talk about staying younger for longer is regenerative medicine specialist, Dr. Francis Pitsilis. Francis, thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure, Mel. First up, what are we doing that causes us to age faster? Well, it's actually right. We are ageing, but if we age faster, then we're going to get these chronic illnesses, dementia, heart disease and diabetes. And what we're doing is we're doing it all a lot harder. We're not sleeping as much, we're working harder, we're doing too much because we can, mm -hmm. um, and our diets are not always great. Yeah, but surely our diets have been great for a number of years? Probably. Um, <laughs> But I have a feeling that um, people are using a lot more fast foods or ready-made foods and processed foods and they, along with all the other stresses that we have, contribute to the stress on our body that then increases inflammation and then causes us harm. So that's a whole number of problems. Yeah. So when we are stressed, obviously, or sick, we look awful, don't we? Yeah, we do. So why is that? Well. That's because we get depletion of everything. If you start at the top of the head, you lose your vitamins, your neurotransmitters, uh, your omega-3s get used up, your hormones get used up. And of course, you need all of these to look good, to, to give you collagen and to take away the dark circles. OK, so really it's all about inside and outside working together, isn't it? So looking after the inside helps us look after the outside as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. OK, so what should we be looking at in our diets to maybe focus on both of them? <laughs> well, everyone's a unique individual biochemically, and so there is no one diet that fits all. But I can tell you from my extensive research that the ideal diet for many people seems to be a highly plant-based diet like a Mediterranean diet or a vegetarian diet with eggs perhaps. Uh, if you're a, a very extreme vegetarian like a vegan, you'll do even better, but you're more at risk of getting um, nutrient deficiencies. Now these highly plant-based diets contribute to reduced mortality, reduced dementia and reduced heart disease and cancer. Mm. Now with the paleo diet, which is in the news a lot at yeah. the moment, not everyone is well suited to this and it actually may well be harmful for some people. There isn't a lot of research on it for a start and I think the basis of it has come from looking back at our Neanderthal diet and making assumptions. So what do you work out then? What, what is going to work for you or how do you know what you should be eating? Well, you look at each, well you can do people's genes, mm -hmm. which, which I do, especially when we're quite worried about that person. We get more information by getting their genes and there are some people whose genes say to them, drink moderately, be a Mediterranean. But then in others, it'll say, don't drink at all and have a low fat diet. So there isn't one diet that fits one thing all. That suits all. You mm. can also look at a person's uh, profile. If they've got a lot of allergy, they should avoid gluten, milk, yogurt, and ice cream. And I think everybody should avoid gluten generally. Oh, oh that's fascinating. Gosh, mm. we could have you back for a whole other segment on that, I think. Oh, look, there's a lot of research on gluten. Fabulous. Mm. Well, thank you so much for your input today. Uh, I've definitely learned something. Amazing advice, Dr. Francis Pitsilis. Uh, and if you would like to know more about anti-aging procedures that are available, go to skinfresh.co.nz.